A student produced this for UND's TV show, Studio One. But surface maps aren't the only thing we look at on the surface to determine what the weather's going to be like for the upcoming week. Picture yourself in the middle of November. Your city receives 10 inches of snow, while a city 30 miles to the east receives none. A week later, it's a sunny day. But your city is much colder than that of the city to the east. There's a specific reason why this happens. So once we turn white, a lot of the incoming solar radiation is reflected and not utilized in heating the surface of the earth. So winter sets in after that first major snowfall in the uh, late fall or early winter. What Al is talking about is called albedo. Different objects have different albedos. On the one hand, we have objects with a high albedo, such as snow, ice, or anything else light in color. These objects will reflect more of the incoming sun's heat. On the other hand, we have surfaces with a lower albedo, like a black field, parking lot, or anything else dark in color. It is a uh, ratio between incoming solar radiation on an object, so how much does it receive to how much of that solar radiation is reflected off of that body. So the basic answer to why one town can be much cooler than its neighbor is simply reflection. A town with no snow will absorb more of the sun's warmth than a town with snow. I'm John Bommelman, reporting for Studio One Weather. And I know a lot of people in the country saw snow this weekend, but just know that as soon as that snow is gone, all the heat from the sun is going to stay right on the surface with you. Moving into thunderstorm season, though.